I went to see the senior military archivist at the National Archives and she started pulling out all these documents, a request for a commission from Loretta Velasquez as Harry Buford denied, uh, but duly noted by a Confederate clerk for the Confederacy, a pay stub for her union spying activities. Oh my God, newspaper articles, on and on and on. And once I knew that there was enough documentation about this person, I began to wonder, why don't I know about her? And what happened that she was erased? That journey is the story in Rebel. Rebel is a story that drew me because it's a story about a young immigrant woman who wants to fit in to America, the America that she understands as a seven-year-old and then as a young teen and then as a grown woman. I was particularly drawn to the story of Loretta because I too am an immigrant. I came when I was eight, as Loretta Velasquez did. I grew up undocumented in the United States, and my next project is about, is loosely based on that personal experience. My deep question is, what does it mean to be an American citizen beyond the accident of birth? We have two million dreamers, we have 11 million undocumented, and we have a broken immigration system in a nation of immigrants that hates immigrants. I want to ask why, and I want to explore those questions uh, beyond the usual border crossing stories. I make documentaries because I have burning things to explore and to say. I make documentaries because there's nothing else that I could possibly do. They're impossible to make, they're impossible to fund, and I burn to make these films and will go through brick walls to do so. The documentary field is not easy. And one of the biggest things that every documentarian has to ask themselves is, why am I doing this? And is this the thing that I absolutely have to do? Because one doesn't do it for the money or the fame. There often isn't any. And the key for me in making films is that I want to have a conversation with people. I want to talk about ideas and injustices and things that need to be changed. And I do it by telling stories because I care about causes, but people don't come to films for causes. They come to hear compelling stories. And so the big thing for me when I think about what advice would I give filmmakers is to make things that only you can tell, to be true to the story, don't fit some model of what you think will sell or be successful. Do that burning, burning story that deeply, deeply moves you and find the core of it and tell it truthfully and don't shy from the dark and thorny aspects of that story. Mm -hmm.